this is our rhyme activity for the day and I'm going to show you how to play. This one's lots of fun. You're going to need to have a copy of the game board. You're going to need a dice and you're going to need some form of counters. Now, these don't have to be matching to mine. They could be anything that you have at home that is suitable. So it could be some coins, it could be some hair clips or some bobby pins. Have a bit of a look around and see if you can find something suitable. All right, boys and girls, this is how we play. This one you can do independently on your own or you might get someone to play along with you and you could take it in turns. All right. I'm playing by myself today, so I'm going to keep rolling the dice and I won't have to wait to make sure anyone else gets a turn, but make sure you're waiting if you are playing it with someone else. Here we go. I'm going to pick up my dice and I'm going to roll my dice and I can see that I rolled the number five. So what I now need to do is I need to look for the number five on our rhyme activity. So one, two, three, four, five, oh, here it is. And I need to pick one of these pictures. So I could pick what rhymes with mug, what rhymes with keys, or name two things that rhyme with cake. Now, I'm a bit of a foodie, so I'm gonna pick the cake and I'm going to see if I can rhyme something with cake. <sighs> Let's see, it needs to have the same ending sound, but we need to change the initial sound. So instead of k, ache i'm gonna say but ache bake all right now i've done that one so i'm gonna put my counter over there so i know that next time i had to choose a different one here i go i'm going to roll the dice again oh and this is fantastic because i got the number five again and that means that i don't need to do the same cake one again but i can see that i'm not going to roll the dice again because i've still got two options here. So this time I need to pick the mug or the keys. I'm going to go with the mug because I'm feeling like a bit of a coffee uh, this morning and I think that might be a good idea to rhyme a word with mug. Here we go. Mug. Mm, mm, ug. I know. B -ug. Bug. I'm going to pick bug for that one, so I'm going to get a counter and pop it on that one. Now, if you're feeling very clever, you might be able to set a challenge and you had to find two rhyming words. So if that was the case, you could say mug rhymes with bug and rug. Okay, here we go. Final roll for today's example. I've got the number six. All right, here we go. Six finding the number that matches the dice, oh, all the way down the bottom, and I'm going to find a rhyming word that rhymes with jam. So, if I have a bit of a think, remember I've got to change that initial sound, the j, I can't say j this time, but I might say p, p, the p. I'm going to say pam. So instead of jam, I'm picking pam as rhyming with jam. And then I get to put a counter on that one. Feel free to play along. You might want to play with a partner, take it in turns, or you might like to play by yourself, but it would be great to have lots of these words covered up with counters by the time you finish. Have fun, boys and girls.